What is up YouTube? Welcome to this Flash video. So welcome if you are new to the channel. A like and a subscribe is mega mega appreciated if you did enjoy the video of course. So welcome people to this Flash video. So as we know the Flash, the TV show at least, has a very very complicated history and timeline. There are multiple multiple timelines there are multiple timelines going off over in Legends of Tomorrow as well. We've also got in the comic books a very, very complicated story with our original post-crisis Wally West returning. So the Flash is not adverse or not afraid to give us some very, very complicated storylines here. So my question is to you viewers... And I want you to let me know in the comments what you think. I want to know, will we ever actually see the original 2020 to 24 or 2020 to 2024 storyline? So let me know. Do you think in the comments below, do you think that will actually happen? So first of all, let's talk about the timelines. So originally, the original timeline of The Flash 2020 to 2024 is when we see the flash disappear so we have barry become the flash in 2020 this is pretty much the motivation of eobard thorn in the whole thing in the first season when he was playing harrison wells very expertly i must say a very very good season of tv and one of the strongest pilot seasons i think of all time so here we actually, the original, original timeline is where Barry becomes the Flash in 2020 and then over the course of four years he seemingly has a fight with Eobard Thorne and they go back in time. So we see some absolute insane madness. So this is what really the Flash kind of central city citizen uh, newspaper is all about. It says that after an epic street battle with the reverse flash, our city's very own Scarlet Speedster disappeared in an explosion of light. The cause of the fight is currently unknown, according to the witness. The flash, with help from Starling City's Green Arrow, the Atom, and Hawk Girl, began fighting the reverse flash around midnight last night. The sky took on a deep crimson colour as the ensuing battle created the most destruction this city has seen since the flash first arrived in the city so this is when the sky went red over central city they went back in time and then we saw eobard thorn kill barry's mother and then this all set about and then time completely changed and then barry became the flash much much earlier due to, well, the particle accelerator and all this. Now, this timeline, this created the brand new 2000 to 2016 or 17 storyline that we actually have now. So then this is what happens and then we get Barry become the Flash way, way earlier. And of course, this is the kind of season one season two storyline that we have this is the kind of new original timeline however then we got the flashpoint timeline which is where everything changes so obviously barry went back in time at the end of season two tried to save his mother and then he saved her and then we got the flashpoint timeline which is where cisco was a billionaire and wally west was Kid Flash running around and Barry really probably wasn't a speedster so that was one of the other many timelines and then we had our post Flashpoint timeline so the timeline here was where Barry was still the Flash of course went and then we had Savitar come back in time to try and kill Iris so he can exist and then he creates the kind of crazy obviously time loop that happened Barry then in the future creates time remnants to try and kill him it doesn't work 
and then in well they get Tracy Brand to help them and trap Savitar so we've got quite a few different timelines so I hope that clears that up with all of those timelines that we actually have we actually have quite a few different timelines we have times where Barry went back in time he had a crossover and then he had a fight with Vandal Savage he outruns a blast that kills all of the heroes and Barry continues to the day and then warns everyone that happened now technically we do actually have a brand new post post flashpoint timeline here as well which is where we have Savitar destroyed much, much earlier, at least about seven years earlier, roughly. I'm not too sure on the timings there, but a lot earlier than he was originally going to be destroyed. Now, with Barry doing this, he goes back into the Speed Force, and then, well, who knows what's going to happen from there. Obviously, we're going to get the return of Barry Allen, I think, just like the Flash Rebirth. And what's really cool is that we've got all these different timelines. And what I would absolutely love to see is a version of the original timeline. And I want to see that fight we got from the newspaper. Because what's interesting is that, well, that future looks really, really cool. I want to see that mega fight against Eobard Thorn, But unfortunately, that can't technically happen because, well, this won't happen because... This has already happened and it has been changed, if that makes sense to you. So let me know what you think. Do you think we'll see a brand new timeline at the end of this kind of post-post flashpoint? Or is this now our timeline and is it just doomed to completely keep changing forever? Or will time kind of fix itself and will the speed force fix it? So let me know what you think. I hope you found that in formative that I've explained all these different timelines that we've actually had. I know there are a number different of different other ones, but these are the main ones I wanted to explain to you. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like, please do subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.